What is going on, guys? Cody here. It's time for my WWE SummerSlam 2024 preview and predictions. And let me tell you, I'm super happy that we got more than five matches to predict on this show. So let's get into it. All right, first match on the docket, we got Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker for the Intercontinental Championship. If you watched my Money in the Bank predictions video last month, I said Sami Zayn was going to win, even though I wanted Braun Breaker to. And it's still kind of the same case. I still want Braun Breaker to win, and I think he's going to win because Sammy has to drop this title, dude. Like, if you're going from a feud where he just beat J Chad Gable two or three straight times and everybody wanted Chad Gable to win the belt, and now you have him go against another, like, young talent and Braun Breaker, yeah, Sammy Zayn is not going to beat him back-to-back. Otherwise, I think people will start to turn on Sammy. So Braun Breaker is going to win this match. Up next, you got the United States champion defending his title against L.A. Knight. Yeah! 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 You know, it kind of feels like it's going to be an L.A. Knight victory. But I wonder if Triple H is going to want to switch both mid-card titles. It kind of seems like he's using these big four pay-per-views as like a hard reset on everything. So it wouldn't surprise me if LA Knight won. And it's in Logan Paul's hometown. And that's kind of why I think Logan Paul might retain and then lose it. Oh, not at Bash in Berlin, but maybe at Bad Blood. Just because I feel like that show isn't going to have any title changes. I mean, none of these B-level shows have any title changes, but I'm picking Logan Paul to win. I, LA Knight will have his moment. I, I'll probably be wrong. Like, out of all the matches, I this will be the one I'll be wrong on. But, I don't know. I'm going gut feeling Logan Paul. WWE Women's Championship match. The champion, Bailey defending against the Queen of the Ring, Nia Jax. So, I'm recording this before SmackDown. And uh, Tiffany Stratton has not got her new briefcase. That will probably be given to her on Friday. And I don't see Tiffany Stratton cashing in in this match. Just because, you know, she's going to get a custom briefcase. And they're going to want to, you know, sell the hell out of that on WWE.com. That I don't want back-to-back -back years of the Women's Championship being cashed in at SummerSlam. I want somebody to actually have a actual run with the Money in the Bank briefcase, especially since the men's is out of the picture. Your Tiffany Stratton needs to have a long run with the Money in the Bank because I think it will produce a lot of great television and, you know, provide that little excitement every time you think she's going to cash in. All that being said, I think Bailey's going to win this match. There's going to be no cash in. There'll be a teased one, but Bailey is going to walk out as SummerSlam champion. And I'm not really looking forward to this match. I mean, Nia Jax has been very good since she came back to WWE. But I've also seen her in the ring with Bayley before. And I don't think this match is going to be anything special. But Bayley is my pick. Plus, Nia, she's got the queen gimmick to fall back on. So it's not like she'll be dead in the water with a loss, you know. WWE Women's World Championship. The women's champion, Liv Morgan, defending against the former champion, Rhea Ripley. The real question is, does Dominic Mysterio turn on Rhea Ripley in this match? And here's the thing, with how WWE does things, it's not like Dom is going to hit Rhea with a chair or something, but maybe he slides a chair to Liv Morgan, and she uses that to her advantage to beat up Rhea. Or maybe... Like, he has some, like, brass knucks, and he'll slide them to Liv Morgan. Either way, I think, yeah, Dominic is going to turn on Liv and help her win. Because Rhea Ripley is about to be a babyface. Like, the fans already cheer her like crazy. You know, people felt bad for her whenever she got injured, had to give the, up the belt. It kind of seems like Judgment Day as a whole is going to be turning babyface. Like, I feel like Finn's going to turn on Damien. So not the whole faction, but there's going to be some shifts in Judgment Day. I feel like Finn will turn on Damien when Damien loses the belt. you know. So him and JD will still be tagged up. And then Rhea is going to turn babyface when Dominic betrays her. And Dominic can go off on his own. And the thing with Dominic, he's never going to be a babyface ever again. He's just got too punchable of a face. And it's just fun to hate him. So... I feel like once this happens, he's out of the group. 
I, I mean, I just feel like a Judgment Day breakup is coming, but I, like I already said, Liv Morgan's going to retain. I'm just kind of stor- storyboarding it right now. And Rhea's going to get the belt back, probably at Bad Blood, if I had to bet, which we'll get into those predictions when that pay-per-view happens. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre with Seth Rollins as a special guest referee. They had a great segment on Raw Monday night, which actually just ended (laughs) about a couple hours ago as I'm recording this. But, I mean, I feel like this is the match everybody is looking forward to. You know, it's been built up very good. It's honestly been built up for, what, five months since, like, end of January, beginning of February. So this match has been built up for a long time. It's very personal. Drew McIntyre, he's done a lot of losing lately. You know, he lost against... Well, he lost at Wrestle. He won, but lost at WrestleMania. You know, he he had the belt, but he held onto it for five minutes because Punk screwed him. And then you know he faced Damian Priest at Clash at the Castle, and Punk screwed him again, and he lost. Then he did win the Money in the Bank briefcase, but then he cashed it in. Punk screwed him again, and he lost. So Drew McIntyre is due for a big win. And I feel like he's going to get it against CM Punk. Now, it's going to suck, I guess, for Punk's first singles match in 10 years to be a loss. But he'll get the win eventually. But to progress this story even further, I feel like McIntyre has to win. Now, how does he win? I feel like if Seth Rollins attacks Punk, that kind of makes Rollins a heel. And, I mean, would Rollins turning heel be a bad thing? I don't think so. But I don't think it's going to happen. It's, it's a hard thing, actually, because it's. I feel like Seth Rollins has to attack Punk, but that makes Rollins a heel if he does that, or at least it doesn't make him likable. I mean, people are still going to sing his song no matter what, but is he going to help out Drew McIntyre, a dude he doesn't like, a dude he's feuded with basically all year? It's an interesting... I don't know how they're going to book that. I just think McIntyre is going to win. I guess that's... The only thing I can say, but how they book the finish of this match is going to be very interesting. World Heavyweight Championship match. Damian Priest, the champion, defending against the 2024 King of the Ring, Gunther. I don't know if you guys can see him. Actually, let me go full screen. It's right here behind me. It's a little autograph. One of the coolest things I got. (laughs) But... It's Gunther's time. I mean, Damian Priest, I like the run he's had with the belt. I feel like his promos, people say his promos are boring. I think he's very good on the mic. He's had a lot of really good matches. Because, you know, that match he had with Jay at Backlash, I thought was really good. Match against Rollins he had was really good until the the botch and uh, the match against Drew McIntyre. That was good, too. And Damian Priest, he has been a good champion but it's Gunther's time. Everybody loves Gunther. Gunther is the perfect pro wrestler. He's a, I mean, every match he has is a freaking banger, you know. And he had a great run with the Intercontinental Championship. I don't see why he wouldn't have a great run with the World Championship. Plus, he got that Bash in Berlin show coming up. It just feels like it's Gunther's time to be champion. I'm looking forward to it very much. And he's going to look so fucking cool with that with that belt. And then the main event of the evening, the undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes defends against Solo Sokoa. This match should not be main eventing, but we all know why it's going to main event. Cody's going to win. There's no doubt in my mind that he's going to win. When does Roman Reigns return? Does he return in the middle of the match to help Cody win? Or is he return after the match to have a stare down with Cody and then have a stare down with Solo? That's what I find interesting. And here's the other thing. I've been trying to save money, dude, but I've been thinking about Roman Reigns. His first appearance is going to be at the next SmackDown that's going to be in my town. So in Tulsa. So I'm like, shit. Now I, I feel like I got to get tickets to that because the big dog's coming back. Oh, that's a throwback name. But yeah, Cody's going to win. It just, um, I saw somebody float the idea earlier, actually, of what if it's like a mini WrestleMania, kind of. Kevin Owens comes out, Randy Orton comes out to take out the other two uh, members of the bloodline, the Tongans, but who's going to take up, who's going to take care of Jacob Fatu? 
and what if that's Roman Reigns and he comes out. Kind of basically what they did at WrestleMania with Cena, Rollins, and The Undertaker. And I like that idea very much. And I kind of hope that's how they go with But yeah, Cody's going to win this match easily. Well, guys, that's the predictions. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment your predictions down in the comment section below. I'd like to hear it. If you're new to the ch channel, please subscribe. New episodes of the Trainwreck Podcast are about to be weekly again once NFL season kicks off. Uh, NFL Division Shorts, they'll be up on my channel starting next week. Like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great night. Enjoy SummerSlam.